Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be talking about how to properly wear and size your accordion. Every accordion is different in terms of its height and in terms of its depth, and our bodies are also different in terms of the size of our uh, middle section compared to our legs and arms, and again, our width and height vary differently. Um, so let me show you how to adjust your accordion as well as some of the positions of wearing your accordion. So when we pick up our accordion, we see that it has two straps. This is a piano accordion. Some accordions uh, you don't wear, you just have one strap and a thumb, but we're not talking about those things. We're talking about accordions with two straps. Some accordions will have this kind of guard to keep your shirt from wrinkling. I highly suggest getting one. Um, so wear your accordion on your chest like so. Right now I'm standing up just for fit. Um, this is the amount of space that I have uh, in my accordion. It's not sitting all the way up here and it's not drooping all the way down here. So it's sitting, if I had a tie on or some sort of necklace, you'd be able to see, um, to see the tie, right? Um, so I'm just looking at my monitor. Yeah, so there is some room here. My arms, when they're coming around the accordion, are right around here. I'm not out here. I'm not down here necessarily. My arms are pretty much like so. Basically a little bit higher than 90 degrees. And I'm able to access my middle C at this angle. And I'm able to access the middle of my keyboard at this angle. If you find that your accordion, I'm just doing this for, uh, for dramatic effect, is down here, you see that there's way too much room here. Even if it was down here, there'd be a bit too much room and it weighed down a lot. And if it was all the way up here, if it was all the way up here, again, I don't, you see how scrunched up my hands are? They're kind of all the way back here instead of being a bit more relaxed. And again, a, a good way I think to determine is I can hold my accordion like this and it comes up basically to my chin, right? So I can do this and look at the buttons on my accordion. If it was all the way down here, I could do that, but I'd be looking down at it. And if it was way too high, I wouldn't be able to do that. It'd be like that and I wouldn't be able to look over it, right? So here I could bend it and I could look at my keys of my accordion and the bellows right here. Not all the way, but this is a comfortable playing position for me. There are variations, just like when people play bass. Some people play the bass all the way up here. I don't, I don't enjoy doing that. And some people play the bass all the way down here, right? Um, some punk groups, some metal groups, totally okay. But I think the standard way is playing it up here. Same as the accordion. Once you get your own style of playing, you might be the person that plays it like this, or like Jimi Hendrix plays guitar behind his back or with his teeth. To start though, have the standard position. Look at my other video about the wrist placements and how tight this should be. But again, I'm playing and the accordion comes out here. It's fine. Yeah, it's coming all the way out here. This side doesn't move, right? This side's staying pretty much centered. This is the side that moves and then I bring it back, right? all the way over here. Yeah, and again, it's down here. I might raise it a little bit if I feel like I need a bit more support, but otherwise it's sitting comfortably. Again, this is what it looks like from the side. It's not super tight. It has a bit of a give. It's actually, again, might be too much give, but I, I enjoy playing it like this. It feels comfortable. There's not too much stress. My shoulders are quite relaxed when I play. Right? And again, relaxed shoulders. We're not playing like this. We're playing relaxed. Now, if I have a chair, I'm just gonna get a chair. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so when I sit down in a chair, and I recommend doing this if your accordion is huge, if your accordion's too, yeah, essentially if your accordion's too big and you're having back issues, 
or any sort of issues, sit down. It's great. So some things that are happening here. I hope you could see this. Um, the accordion rests on my left foot. It's not on my right foot, just because this side opens. It's, it's very strange on my right foot. I like to rest the bellows on my left foot. And it's this side, right as it opens, that sits here on my left foot. So then, as I play... I don't know why we're playing silver bells, but again, this side doesn't move, my left foot doesn't move. My right foot's out, just that likes doing that. My right foot can do this, but um, my left foot isn't doing, isn't moving. It's supporting the bellows. So as you can see, it's a little bit loose here. Sometimes if I play, it will fall. So if this was a little bit tighter, totally fine. From the side, it looks like this. Let's, this is what it looks like from the side. So, actually, that's, there we go. The magic of cameras. So this is what it looks like. Right, this strap is nice and tight. I don't need to sit all the way back. I'm not drooping. I'm sitting quite upright to play. And again, this is sitting on my left foot. Again, the, the left side, what it looks like, the bellow side. Again, I'm not, I think you could sit all the way back. Let's try it with sitting with my back against the chair. Yeah. I think it's okay to sit with the back of the chair. I like having a bit more distance. It feels a bit more dynamic, right? At any point, I could stand up. I'm kind of really elastic. I don't know if it's, uh, I think it depends on the player. Uh, if you feel like you have a lot of energy, play forward, right? Play with this much room between your back. If you're tired and it's the end of the day, I still encourage you to play like this, but it might be okay. I guess the thing is sit straight as much as possible. Uh, rather than hunched over, or rather than leaning back. I think it's doable. You can play like this. Probably not great, but totally doable. Again, the accordion is resting on my foot, on my left foot. Yeah, anyways, I, I hope that this helps you understand where to hold your accordion. The accordion can be adjusted with these two straps down here and down here. Again, adjust it so it sits like I described. Your body is your own and your instrument is your own, so try it out. Uh, in my virtual accordion lesson with Yuval and Isaac, they were both using the same accordion on two different kinds of bodies and you'll see that they needed to adjust it in order for it to fit them. If it was either too tight or way too loose. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Check out more lessons on accordionlove.com and leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Thank you.